there may be a sign around you, a clear sign, but its visibility to you depends on the maturity of your faith. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. Reading the signs of the time and responding to the need of the hour are two phrases that are commonly used in the religious circle. In today's Gospel, which is taken from St. Luke chapter 21, verses from 29 to 33, Jesus invites us to the same, to read the signs of the time. But it does not need to be always about end time. One of the most exacting challenges from the Second Vatican Councils is that it calls for reading the signs of the time. It was a call to deeply reflect upon those events unfolding before our eyes with a maturity of faith. Sister Dane Burgeon, an American theological writer, observes, it was so difficult as we are accustomed only to react to life rather than interact with it. Few of us persist what today is called a mature faith. Most of the holy founders of religious orders and congregations had demonstrated this mature faith. They had the divine wisdom to read the signs of the time and the mature faith and the courage to respond to the need of the hour. And that's how they plunged into action and founding orders and congregations, placing all their trust and faith in God and starting several various kinds of ministries for the simple, the poor and the needy of their times. My dear friend, there may be a sign around you, a clear sign, but its visibility to you depends on the maturity of your faith. It could be a sign for your redemption, for your conversion, maybe to bring back or regain the love that you have lost in your race to accumulate and amass wealth and name and fame and social status. Maybe a call and sign for accepting and forgiving your neighbor, your friend, or even your spouse as he or she is. Or even to love your own very life and to live it fully and joyfully. Now these days we have been taught lots of lessons by the virus. A small virus that kills the people and stills the world. Can that be a sign too? Letter to the Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 1 says, Therefore, let us move on from the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity of faith in God. My dear friend, how mature is your faith? May the teachings of Christ Redeem us. Amen.